Lionsgate. You've heard a lot of people speak about Lionsgate and the importance and significance of this portal. Now, although we've been conducting school for a number of years, I've never really focused on it, but I decided this year to focus on it because it is not just a triple eight year, which doesn't happen, usually it's a double eight, but it's not just triple eight, it's more than this. So let's start from the very beginning and simplify if you need to know why this portal is important. <clears throat> now, ever since ancient times, they honored nature, they honored alignments, they honored constellations, they honored the human being on earth in the connection with the rest of um, the universe. And every year, there is something called New Year. And New Year for us is one thing, but the Galactic New Year is another thing. And the Galactic New Year was celebrated on the eighth month in what we call October, Oct, October, Oct meant eight. But then the calendar was changed because Julius Caesar decided to add two months that are his name, July and August, Julius Augustus. So the eighth month, October, oct means eight, became our 10th month. And this put humanity in dark ages. This has been going on for a very long time. I'm not going to go into um, what we call conspiracy theories, whether this was done deliberately or out of ignorance, the result is the same. So here we are, we're going to speak about Galactic New Year. Galactic New Year takes place every year and the dates are not in concrete because some sources on the net, especially with the interference of AI and with disinformation and misinformation, you will get lots of things. But Galactic New Year was celebrated for 40 days, for zero, 40 days. <clears throat> because the month of old was 40 days, not 30 as we have it today. And most sources will quote you that it starts from the 28th or 28th of July till the 12th of August. Now, for me, the night to the day, you ask the ancient ones, and the night is what gives birth to the day. So the night precedes the day. The reason that a lot of people are not getting the results they want is because they target the night of the 8th, which is they wait until it is the 8th of August and go to that night. No, the actual night is when the 7th of August ends with sunset. The night of the 8th is born and you're very lucky to be in this school to know this. So really, the galactic gate that you are waiting for is going to open sunset after the seventh is over, which means the first hour of sunset in the evening of what you call the seventh, which will be the first hour of the night of the eighth in the real and true calendar and target wherever you are if you can join me on wednesday on the 7th of august 8 p.m so i'm going to start 8 08 so it means the eighth minute 
of the eighth hour on the eighth night of the eighth month of 2024, which is eight. This is when I will have my galactic meditation. It's free for all. You're very, very welcome. And I'm going to show you what you need to do for it. And if you've done none of this, you're still welcome to join. The power of the one is for everyone, okay? So this is Galactic New Year. And it is an auspicious start because of a number of things. This year, more than any other year, holds two very significant animals that are the fire energy, the power energy, the awakening energy. The first, the lion gate, which is the white lion. So that's the totem. I am wearing my beautiful Sakhmet, which is a lion. She's the healer warrior of ancient old. And those of you who went on the Egypt awakening know her significance. Please use her. And just get any lion, draw a lion, visualize a lion. So that's the first animal and the lion they say the king of the jungle, but really it's majesty, royalty. And the lion happens to fall in Leo, the constellation, Leo, the lion. So we are in a very powerful alignment. And the second animal that is gracing us in this year is the dragon. So to have the lion and the dragon according to Chinese uh, numerology or Chinese, sorry, um, system, we are in the year of the wooden dragon. And the wooden dragon comes with um, a lot of enlightenment, change, awakening, and it also comes with empowerment. So it doesn't come with all the destructive force because in the wood there is grounding. So it comes with grounding. So here, this is something that does not repeat itself very often in the world. The power of the dragon and the power of the lion's gate, the two. Now, yesterday, the 4th of August, I sent a message saying the new moon started. So we also have the power of the new moon. And this is extremely auspicious because when the moon is on the increase, anything and everything that you plant and you think of is on the increase. All websites are going to tell you abundance, do this. Yes, abundance has two sides. What are you asking for in abundance? Are you in a negative anchoring of any sort or are you in the positive? So you get an abundance of anything you ask for, because the universe only transmit that which you ask for. So please be very careful what you ask for. And is it from the heart? And if you're not sure, just say, universe, choose what is best for me. Do not book what you're asking on a specific person specific job, a specific it, be intelligent, you are in a miracle portal. So we've got those two very strong animals. We've got a new moon. Now, why do we call this the new galactic new year? The galactic new year. It is very simple. Our sun and our earth every year at this time are at a distance where they become in alignment with the most potent star in our galaxy, Sirius, Sirius star. And Sirius is the star that comes to 
align itself between our sun and our earth, and it comes there in the middle with the Orion belt. So we have our earth aligning with Orion belt with the Sirius constellation. And it is in an amazing um, order to give light. What does a star do? It emits light. Why is Sirius significant? It is 23, some say 25, but they say 23 times the light of our own sun. 23 times the light of our own sun. All right? So it means you have illumination around you in abundance. And this light particle is the miracle machine of everything. It is these photons are what carry your thoughts, your dreams, your frustrations, your joys, your sorrows. And they are also what build up your DNA. So now you know that we are in a galactic new year. This was the galactic new year that the ancient Egyptians took as their new year that we have dropped. And it is because of the flood of light that takes place. And this light is a cleansing. What I mean by cleansing, you can cleanse by dropping things you do not need or burn them. Okay? So we get rid of things that we no longer want. And we make what we call, not promises, but put our best aspirations and desires forward as if they have already happened because they will be energetically 23 times more strong than being given birth under our sun. Plus, we also have Venus that joined us with the new moon. So this is the power of love. It is a lot of things happening. So here, constellations, I have made it very simple. And the ancient Egyptians commemorated Cyrus, a serious planet, because it uh, was the time of the flooding of the Nile. And they weren't naive. It's just that the Nile is flooding. No, they and they understood when the Nile floods the land that the water is cleansing and they understood that abundance is coming. And also it was connected to the beautiful goddess Isis or Isis, whom they say was connected to the Sirius planet and uh, came from there. Whether this is right or wrong, it doesn't matter whether you believe it or not. This is a different story. And I would like to actually speak about those beautiful people another time that um, graced the ancient Egyptian civilization. To give you just a very simple example, it's not just Sahmet the Lion, but the Sphinx. The Sphinx was built by those people, people who came from the Leo constellation thousands of years ago. The history will be rebirthed and will come back. The real, real heritage of all humanity, not just Egypt, of everybody, it will be revealed. But just let it be known that the Sphinx is part of all of this portal. And the Sphinx is no more than a portal. What is a portal? A lot of you are saying, oh, we're going to be transported to another planet. And I always tell them, have you exhausted your own to want another one? Just know one thing, light your light on the planet that you live on. Love it enough, love yourself enough. Let that spark show to all the planets and it will connect you everywhere. The second part of the importance and significance of this year is the triple eight. We always have the 8th of August, so it's 8-8. But the year 2024 
2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 4 gives 8. So we are in a year of triple 8. And does this recur? Yes. For example, on the 16th, you will have 1 plus 6. Sorry, on the 17th, 1 plus 7 will give you 8. So it's going to be 8, 8, 8. And you will have 26. 2 plus 6 will give you 8. It's going to be 8, 8, 8. So having a triple 8 is not a miracle. It happens. But having it take place when the door of the lion's gate is open, when these constellations align, is a different thing. What happens if you listen to this video after all this is over? It doesn't matter. Create your own eight. Eights are everywhere. And <clears throat> what does eight mean? Eight is one of the most important numbers in numerology because the upper is exactly the lower and it's infinity. The logo of infinity or the symbol of infinity, the infinite is the divine, the divine spirit, whatever you want to call it, the all. And eight is uh, the royal number. It's a royal number because it, re it is represented by the lion, by Leo, by this constellation, because always the lion is royal. So it is a number of royalty. It is a number of abundance. It is an auspicious number. It is the number of money. And here, when I say money, I don't just mean the physical money. Money is energy. It is the energy that keeps flowing for anything and everything that you want to manifest. So yes, it is the number of money if you want to put it in physical terms. And it can also be loss of money. Remember, infinity goes both ways. This is what they do not explain. So here we are dealing with a triple eight, 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 eight. So it is really the magic of the number, plus the power of the gate, plus the power of the alignment. Now, what happens in eight? Eight means that you are spiritually and physically connected. And when the alignment of these planets with Sirius happen like this, it means the veil between the physical and the metaphysical is almost dissolved. So here there is a dissolution of borders and you have great access with the abundance of light around, the photons of light around you to cross, to transpose yourself. You do not need to wait to change. These portals open to give you immediate quantum leap and for this school it is a quantum manifestation of thought feeling desires action fill in the blank so how can we use this beautiful portal in a practical manner now that we know what it means in very simple terms, and I can keep on and on and on about the significance of eight and so on. Go on YouTube, you will have your film, but please watch for deliberate misinformation or disinformation. Now, <clears throat> like everything in life, simplify, simplicity. You know why the sun is so great? It doesn't say I'm illuminating. It illuminates. We all see its light, but we don't think about, I can see things because the sun is shining. This is how simple it is. So you prepare for this portal in the same magical manner. Be who you are, never imitate. And I had written some things for you to do. I can send a list 
and the group. But I would like you to do things that are very simple, starting from tonight to the portal and after the portal. They tell you that the portal will close on the 12th. Nothing is in concrete, you see, because they played a lot with the calendar, but just have faith. So let's think how we can simplify to really produce what we want. First thing, when you wake up in the morning, the first thing you do is thoughts. Your thoughts will go into myriad avenues. Start with gratitude. Gratitude. I am so grateful I opened my eyes. I'm so grateful I feel better today than yesterday. I am so grateful I'm going to work. Whatever it is, start with this gratitude as you get up so that your thoughts are in gratitude. And then start changing those gratitude into the quantum leap. We remember we are under the power of Sirius, which is 23 times our own sun. So let's say you really want to have a partner in life and say, I am so grateful I'm with a wonderful partner who loves me, respects me, and I love and respect him. Put it present tense. You'll say, I haven't got a partner. You don't say, please give me a partner because the universe will always listen to, please give me, meaning I do not have. Put it, it happened. So start your gratitude with the things that you want to put in the portal. I don't care how many they are, but really people who succeed have things that are around five. They do not exceed 10. For me this year, they are three, and I will share them with you because I focused on what I really want and I pin them down to three things. So yes, start with the most important. Now the most important is healing. And what do I mean by healing? Healing on all levels. This is a portal of healing. If your body, is undergoing ailment, physical healing. So what I do is I wake up and I say, I'm ever so grateful. I'm so um, healed and in wonderful health. I'm enjoying the best health that I can ever enjoy. If you had seen me last week with my scratched lungs, you would not believe that I can do this talk this week, but I told myself I'm in the portal. If I don't walk my talk, I don't deserve to have this school. So physical, because you can never really advance if your body is not advancing. I'm enjoying the best of health. I have vitality. I love my body. So physical, emotional comes straight after physical. So if you're going through emotional trauma, heal this. I'm ever so grateful. I am very happy after my divorce. I'm ever so grateful. I have overcome all the hatred and all um, the animosity that was shown to me by friends and family it is behind me and I only have love in my heart. Surmount it, please. Okay, physical, emotional. If you have a, an unstable mental state, wish for it. So on all levels of the mental, physical, emotional, start with this because this is a doorway of a quantum leap. And this is really with a scratched lung. If I show you the X-ray, you will not believe it or the CT scan that I can talk, but it works. I'm here to say it works. <clears throat>
<clears throat> so heal this first. And then after the physical, with all the bodies, the mental body, the emotional body, all these bodies move towards in gratitude, other things that you want to manifest. So here, the first thing that we're going to do is gratitude. If you find yourself thinking of ugly things, start your gratitude. So number one, gratitude. Number two, how to get ready for this day or for every night, um, meditate. But for the eighth, I want you to have your glass of water or liquid or whatever it is or herbal tea and you put in it um i am so healthy and happy that's it i am married to a wonderful human being i'm in my dream job and i'm so grateful for it I'm driving the car of my dreams. Oh my goodness. And I am excited. Doesn't matter what you are asking for. But put it in the liquid. And bless it in the food. Okay. So these are very simple things. Gratitude. Put it in liquid. Third thing I want you all to do. When you join me on Wednesday or you don't. Your oil. So it's, uh, or perfume. I love to use um, agar wood, oud, oil of oud, because it's the highest. And you can use rose. Pure rose is amazing. Now, if you like lavender, use lavender. I'm also using another one. I'm mixing my oil of oud with um, cedar, cedar wood, hmm? ars cedar. You can use lavender, you can use frankincense. And you put your intention in the oil. And you're going to take some of this oil and put it here so that you're smelling it. But the most important thing is as you decide what you want, you say, I am anointing myself with this oil to receive from the universe, and you go to here, this invitation, you see? To receive, and you go like a spiral. One, two, three, eight. Usually I go eight, but because this is the portal of, I go seven, we'll go eight. Seven, so you go eight times with this, intending that this portal is open. It's a very, important chakra this will connect you to the stars of the gate right let's say you don't have oil it doesn't matter with your finger you just go eight times i will show you how to do it on uh when we are doing the meditation but you just activate it by going in the fish and it is very very simple so it's the cerebral chakra. The other thing that you need, candle. I have chosen a candle that I love and it says, I am beautiful. If your candle does not say anything, write what you want on a stick, a label. Just write it and burn it. Now, decided to have eight candles. You can burn eight candles if you want. I'm burning one, which says I am beautiful. And for me, this is enough. Now, after that, you need to um, ground yourself. And by grounding the self, we visualize that our feet are like a tree and it's going into the ground, you know, just like the tree's roots, rooting you into the belly of Mother Earth and anchoring. 
So you're really anchored. Now, physically to actually do this on the day of the seventh, on the eighth, for every day, go to the beach, walk barefoot on the grass. Um, if you cannot do these two things, get a bowl with salt and water and soak your feet in salt and water, as simple as, or just visualize that you are this tree anchored in the valley of Mother Earth, grounding. So ground yourself. And after that, start to breathe, follow your breath. Put it in a wonderful and happy uh, mode. And then I want from you a pen and paper. And I want you to give manifestation to what you want to create in this portal. Why I want you to write it down. You can think it. You can say it. But the ancient Egyptians wrote it on the temples. Writing is magic. It doesn't go away. It's been given birth. When you think of something, it's in the etheric. When you say it, you've said it. It's sound, and the sound is creation. But when you write it, it's physically born. Give it a physical manifestation. Give it birth. Right? So, and you write it in present tense. If you're not sure what to write, start with a gratitude. I'm very grateful I didn't die, but I am even more grateful that I'm in the best of health. I'm very grateful the divorce was not the end of me, but I'm ever so grateful I'm with a wonderful husband now who truly appreciates me. That is if you're confused. Start with the gratitude of what is to you want chucked out and put the new thing in present tense. Not that it will, in present tense. Now, for the day of <clears throat> the manifestation, you can have a list of everything you got rid of and we will burn it together. So we will burn it in ceremony. And a list that you want manifesting that for this manifestation, there is one last thing that I would ask you to do is bring an incense burner and um, bring incense if you can. For me, I use I wood. But you can use sandalwood, you can use anything you want. And you take the paper where you put your manifestations and put them in that um, smoke. Because smoke is the veil between this, it is seen, but you cannot feel it. So it is both physical and spiritual. All right. So it, 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 it is, uh, it has got that seeps into dimensions. And the last thing that you can hold, for example, today I put them all in my uh, incense burner, like I um, put the smoke, I smudged them all. But I did this amethyst for healing because of what I have been through, right? Or wear the jewelry that will carry, transpose you, right? And I've got my other extraterrestrial stone. And I've got my healing stone. The stone that I, when I do Reiki or healing for people, where I put it. So I've got my stones. Some people, uh, if you want abundance, citron. You know, the yellow stone, citron. It is for money. If you want uh, love, uh, quartz, rose quartz. If you are not sure, get agate, all colors. All colors of agate. White, green, uh, red, all colors of agate, put it around you. A lot of people are putting eight semi-precious stones around them. 
if you want, go ahead. For me, I'm using those three because they are what I really need right now. And I'm wearing my Sahmet in gold. Now, something that all the channels and everything will not tell you. We're in Leo, the constellation of Leo. So it's the sun. The color for the sun is yellow. Yellow and or gold. Please wear that color. It will transpose you. The metal for the sun is gold, pure gold. If you do not have gold, do not be dismayed. Anything that looks like gold or whatever it is that you have. But remember that yellow and gold are the colors of the sun planet. Okay. Now, with this, you will have everything that you need for a meditation. So if you forget all of this, well and good. Just come. You are the miracle. Remember that you carry in you everything. You carry the flame of the candle because you have fire inside of you, the element. You carry all the precious stones and minerals because they are in your DNA. You carry everything. You are everything. You are the epitome of creation why why are all these beautiful planets and uh, the serious constellation and they have come to help humanity why are they bothered with us one very simple thing your dna and the fact that we are in a portal of triple eight your dna is a helix a double helix that is eight it's twisted like eight so in reality we are doing all this to raise the vibration of your d and a with light i do know that all of humanity will receive three percent all of you will be raised three percent it's a great thing it will happen gradually some will feel it immediately but because we are in the timeless wisdom school of quantum, I want this 3% that you intend that you are illuminating to the maximum in quantum manifestation of your ability. It can be 30. All right. So this is why we are doing this now. So for those of you intending to join me on Wednesday, that's all you need to do. Get your drink, get your incense, get your oil, get your sheet with the things you want to burn, get your manifestations, wear your yellow, wear your gold. If you want totems of animals like the dragon or the lion, you're welcome. If you don't believe in these things, you don't have to. You can even, if you wear something all the time and it never leaves you, okay, smudge it with uh, your incense and bring it so that we charge it with what you want. And now you are ready to manifest. Now, when I said that they're all after your DNA, the eight, one thing for those who will not attend the manifestation with me, please root yourself into the body of Mother Earth. And then from the serious sun, okay, the sun, you visualize the helix as eight, eight, the double helix of your DNA coming through your crown chakra, illuminating the body and where you placed your incense here in the uh, cerebellum chakra. You go round and round and you feel it going through your spine and it goes down to the roots, into the belly of Mother Earth, charging you over and over. And you do your visualization. Now in the end, thank this chakra, close it. Thank serious constellation and <clears throat> see the light going up. 
But as this light is going down, see it as your DNA activating with light. I wish you all an extremely promising and happy quantum leap as your bodies, your souls, your journeys are able to take. And hopefully you will join me on Wednesday.